Hey guys, what's up? Got another jailbreak video for you today. Unfortunately, this one is not an actual how-to jailbreak or demonstration video. This is just simply another update on the iOS 4.1 um, jailbreak, which is going to be released soon. I have actually typed up a text edit document here, which I will be going over these four points and just informing you on what the iPhone dev team has actually been working on since jailbreakme.com and when to expect the next jailbreak to be released. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know I've been talking about the 4.1 jailbreak as well as a 4.2 jailbreak possibly, but this actual update includes new information that was released with the Apple TV. But Before I get to that, I'm going to get to my first point. As you can see, I've typed out iOS 4.1 jailbreak. This jailbreak is going to be codenamed Shatter, as many of you guys probably know. And there has been websites, one of them is Green Poison, that have been supposed to be releasing this jailbreak. Unfortunately, it is not user land yet, which means it has not been released to the public. Only the dev team has been working on it. Um, also, there is good news when it does come about for this wait, um, as it will be compatible with all devices, they say. The release date will be soon probably within the next coming weeks by the end of October as you can see today's October 1st so I'd say by the end of October and the best thing about Shatter which is what I was going to mention is the iPhone dev team claims that Apple will not actually be able to patch it permanently um, they say it's going to be able to jailbreak the devices all of the iDevices forever um, as they're using a very low level uh, exploit that Apple is going to have a hard time patching. Hopefully this is true. This would be great if all of our devices were permanently jailbreakable, but we will have to wait and see if it actually does come out. In any case, it is going to jailbreak the iOS 4.1 on all iDevices. Now, moving on, another device that was actually discovered to be jailbreakable on iOS 4.1 is the Apple TV. Just this week, the iPhone dev team released info that the Apple TV was, jailbro was jailbreakable, as I just said. They actually released a video um, showing how they had used the Shatter jailbreak to jailbreak the actual device. Unfortunately, this was more of like a hack as it was for the original Apple TV. On the original Apple TV, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but you were able to install Boxy, which allowed you to watch online streaming different shows for free, movies for free, all on the Apple TV. This one is, this jailbreak of Shatter is similar to that. However, the good news is that in the future, the iPhone dev team may be adding apps or Apple may be adding apps. Either way, this jailbreak has ensured that there will be applications such as the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad applications on the Apple TV. If it is jailbroken with Cydia, that is going to be added on there. Um, or Apple has actually had plans of adding an app store to this device. So along with the iOS 4.1 jailbreak, the Apple TV will be jailbreakable and we probably will see apps on it. Now, this leads me to my next point. If you guys have been wondering why I didn't show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.1 previously, even though some of the jailbreaks have been released for it, such as Red Snow um, or I Hate Snow, the reason why I haven't showed you how to do that is because it is much harder and more complicated than the Shatter Jailbreak. The Shatter Jailbreak, when it is released, is going to be one click again, just like Black Rain. You're going to plug in your device, just click Jailbreak, and it will be jailbroken. All devices on iOS 4.1. Now, the other ones require you to already be jailbroken and then hook up to your computer, then back it up. It's just a much longer process, and I chose that it would be much harder to show you how to do that so I'm waiting for Shatter to actually be released as it is just going to be one click and I feel like I can explain it better to you and more of you guys will understand it um, but that is why I'm waiting that's why I haven't showed you previous jailbreaks and finally my last point 4.2 is going to be released soon for iPad, iPod, uh, iPod Touch and iPhone um, I had a video last week about what is going to be included in 4.2, some hidden features. Um, but that will probably be jailbroken with Shatter also if what they say is true, that it will jailbreak all devices and all firmwares permanently. But we will have to wait and see. 
I will definitely have a video on the 4.1 and 4.2 jailbreak when they come around, so stay tuned. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it informed you in any way, please rate thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss my t jailbreak tutorials when they come around in the next few weeks. Also, visit my Twitter and follow my follow me on Twitter and visit my website, which are both in the description, as well as subscribe to my other channel. I am also having a MacBook Pro giveaway, which will also be in the description, so you can check that out. And again, guys, I'll catch you in the next video with my jailbreak video, hopefully. And yeah, peace.